everyone if you have ever been to a beach then i am quite sure that the most stunning sight was of the ocean its beauty is enchanting something that can't be put into words it's thrilling to see it come one instant and then suddenly waves might come crashing down it is never still unlike ponds and lakes yes children you guessed it right today we are going to study about the movements that occur in oceans they can be broadly categorized as tides waves and currents so which one i should explain first what about waves waves are formed when the wind blows across the ocean surface the stronger the wind blows the bigger the wave becomes in the waves the surface water rises and falls do you know that although waves travel at a great distance the water particles remain at the same place to understand it better let us throw a ball in the water and see what happens isn't it fun to watch here you can see that the ball is moving only up and down as the waves pass but it never moves ahead this means that the actual forward motion of water particles in the wave is limited hope this is clear to you do you know during a storm the winds blowing at a very high speed form huge waves these may cause tremendous destruction you must be wondering what could be the other reasons for the formation of such huge waves they are caused by sudden motion on the ocean floor this sudden motion could be an earthquake a powerful volcanic eruption or an underwater landslide they can shift large amounts of ocean water as a result a huge tidal wave called tsunami that may be as high as 15 meters is formed tsunami is a japanese word that means harbor waves as the harbors get destroyed whenever there is a tsunami the largest tsunami ever measured was 150 meters high these waves travel at a speed of more than 700 kilometers per hour you must have heard about the tsunami of 2004 triggered by an earthquake resulted in widespread damage in the coastal areas of india the large damage caused to life and property was primarily a result of lack of monitoring an availability of early warning systems in the indian ocean and insufficient knowledge among the people living in the coastal areas people didn't know that to escape a tsunami they should go as high and as far as they can ideally to a spot 100 feet above sea level or 2 miles away instead of going to high ground people started assembling at the coast to view the miracle of the rapid withdrawal of water from the coastal region which is the first indication of the tsunami as a consequence there was a large casualty of curious onlookers when the gigantic wave struck the indra point in the andaman and nicobar islands got submerged after that tsunami so you can understand how destructive it was let us end today's class here in the next video we will continue with tides do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such interesting videos thanks again